Stop it. Oh my god. Okay, misguided. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Why? Oh, that's pale. Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name's Anushka. We're gonna be trying some misguided makeup that they recently came out with. You guys know I get a bit excited when I see some new affordable makeup out there. And I thought this would be interesting because do you know what? I wasn't considering it's a new like release and it's a drugstore brand, I wasn't too mad about the shade range. I was like, do you know what? I need to give this a try. Um, before we jump into the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out and today's one's going to go to Shanice Palais. So thank you so much for your really sweet comment. I really appreciate it. And if you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. Oh my god, my lips are so dry. You need some lip balm. Oh, I don't know where all these spots are coming from. I have this habit of putting my hair up like this to get it out of the way so we won't give it like that okay um right so let's start off with the brows i've just realized there's something missing okay i need to go check the packaging that i threw i'm so gutted right now guys because i bought the thing that i was most excited to try unless i've thrown it somewhere right am i a bit gutted right now uh definitely but we move i don't know what to do with my brows why does this always happen to me I got this right now brow thickening brow gel. This is in the shade super dark and it just comes with a little tiny brush that looks like this. I've already put like no 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 I'm just gonna put the brow gel on a brush. It's actually really pigmented. I'm not gonna do anything major with these brows, but the, this product is definitely pigmented. So I actually bought like a felt it kind of like pen for my brows to do those like hair strokes that I really like. One of my favorites from Lime Crime, but I was really excited to try that, but obviously it didn't come. And now I'm just trying to do the same with this brow gel but it's actually not doing too bad it's actually not a bad brow gel it this is just my hair that's so like all over the place here but it's not bad it's not bad guys I'm probably i'm gonna carve it out in a bit okay let's move on to base i've already moisturized my skin and the first thing that we have is the misguided meet your match demi matte foundation and this is in the shade 16. so the product comes in this tube i don't know if this is the right i think it's gonna be a little bit it's not bad considering that i'm buying this online bit on the pinky side but let's try one side Feels really soft. I'm just gonna use my beauty blender. Okay, it's definitely a little dark for me, as you can tell, but it definitely looks like skin. It's covered my scarring a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit more See if you can build on top of it. Everything from the range was under £12, so it was quite affordable. It's a buildable medium coverage formulated with diamond powder for a healthy looking demi matte finish with a hint of radiance, which I actually don't mind. Lightweight, buildable, vegan and cruelty free, which we love. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna try and put a little bit more just on some bits. My concealer, I have a feeling, is a little bit too light, so I think this will balance the foundation out. But so far, that's really, that's blending really nicely, and it's sitting really well, and it's got a bit of a glow to it too. That's my skin, and that's the foundation. It's not bad, actually, right? Mm. Mm. I don't see some myself. Let's do the other side now. 
actually really really easy to blend definitely need to bring this down the neck because it's on a pink it's, it's the foundation is a bit pink I'm not gonna lie and a bit dark but it's all right I definitely feel I, I definitely see myself wearing this during um, summer because I'm definitely super pale your girl hasn't gone out at all barely seen the Sun barely seen the clouds <laughs> so I'm at my palest for sure but actually this is so beautiful right now I'm sure I really like that and it covered my scarring quite well so the next project we have is the meet your match liquid concealer and I got the shade 130 it's got a mattifying finish with hydrating aloe vera vitamin e and zinc uva protection spf 6 which actually is quite unique why do I have a feeling this is gonna go a little ashy this is gonna go ashy oh why if it's good coverage oh that's pale why i should have gotten a darker shade actually if it's too um oh, yeah i'm definitely gonna put up some a bit of foundation highlight underneath your foundation technique because it's oh, just this is not working and i can't say that i'm a bit i'm fond of with the coverage okay that's definitely helped this is my fault though but i'm not gonna say like it was easy to um buy the shades because it weren't like the shades were mixed up and it was so confusing but i'm gonna show you guys how this kind of blends it just it's just really thin I feel like the more I blend it, the more goes away. Just trying to make this work. Like, just trying to put some on my lips too. It's blending nicely, but it's not like a formula I like to go for when it comes to concealer. I'm gonna put a little bit on my lids, just roughly. The next thing I got is the Meet Your Match contouring stick i got the shade d8 which i think is a perfect shade for me it's just a quick swatch why why is it when i gotta film you gotta make some noise oh that's a nice shade you know stippling brush smells really nice it smells like vanilla I think it's all coming together oh I like this product this is nice yeah I definitely love that Ooh. I mean everything is just coming together like nicely maybe maybe the concealer is not that bad maybe I just need a better shade I'm in a dilemma okay so I didn't get I didn't see any powder on the website so I'm just going to use my own cookie some Laura Mercier powder I actually got the shade honey which I need to try out oh this with powder is coming together Oh, the creasing on the lids though wow my my concealer always creases my lids but i've never seen it that bad and that just kind of gives me a bad sign what's going to happen underneath what on earth is going on with my brow this is looking pretty good mm. it's looking a bit ashy it's, it's not ashy guys i promise you the next thing i have is the instant vacay bronze duo powder i mean one looks darker than the other i'm just gonna use the darker shade here not that i need more bronzer but because the cream was enough but i'm just gonna give this a go
just to kind of set it. Touching the powder and it feels really nice. Those are just swatches of the bronzers and that's the contour stick. It's actually quite nice actually. Do I see myself using this? That yeah, because it's so soft and even though like I use a small brush, like nothing went like patchy or anything. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Next I got the Stop I'm Blushing High Pigment Matte Blush. I was hoping this was going to be darker, but we'll give it a go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Put maybe a bit too much. It's looking soft and pretty, like, this is, I'm actually really shook right now. Everything is blending so nicely. And the next thing I have is the Highlight Highlighting Powder in the shade Golden Hour. And the blush was in the shade About Last Night. I haven't even been saying the shades. And I got the darker version of the Bronzing Duo. Everything will be linked in the info box, guys. But we're going to try this highlighter. Ooh. That is pretty... That is gorgeous. That is so pretty. I love this. It's like not sparkly. Like it just looks like a beautiful glowy sheen. And the shade is just like perfect for me. I love that guys. What have we got next? So that's the base done basically. Oh I got some. I got the original freckles pen. I'm not really one that goes for freckles. But I really wanted to try this. I was intrigued. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this. I don't know how much to put. But I'm just going to tap on it. That's what the freckles are looking like. I think you definitely have to be careful with it because it can easily look like a felted pen. But you know what, I'm going to stay like this, it's not bad. Do I see myself using this? I don't know. But if you're someone that likes to do faux freckles, it's not bad, but you have to keep a, a light hand with it because it's literally a felt tip. So like, and it doesn't budge when you try to wipe it, which is good. But yeah, it does the job well. And the shade's actually really good for me. I got the shade, oh, I think there's only one original Frex. <laughs> Just to add on top of the highlight, I got this Highlight Liquid Highlighter in the shade Golden Hour. That's just a swatch of it. Ooh. I'm just going to put some on my hand. You guys know I love wet products for my highlight. And I'm just going to use this with my sponge and put this on the top. Definitely gives that oomph. That oomph, oomph, oomph. I can already see the concealer creasing a little bit. So I think we're going to just conclude with the fact that I don't, I'm not a big fan of the concealer. Um, the next thing I got is this Lids, Lids, Lids. It's Lit eyeshadow pigment, I think. I love eyeshadows where I can just put use my finger and wipe them on. I couldn't see any eyeshadow palettes on um, from their range, but these remind me of the Hourglass Pots, but they're more metallic. And this shade is gorge. Put this all over. It's a bit wet. I wish it was a bit drier. But I'm just going to brush this all over. Oh my god, but I just love the shade. Like, just for a quick eye, everyday kind of thing, this is gorge. I just don't know if it will crease. Don't know how I feel. It's pretty. I wish it was a little bit more pigmented, but I just don't know if it will last because it's a bit oily and anything oily on my lids, unless it dries down, but we'll see how this sits. Anything oily that sits on my lids just creases instantly. Okay, now we're going to try some mascara. I got the O High Lash Length and Definition Fiber Mascara. The brush looks different, but it's super black. You guys know the drill. I'm going to curl these lashes. Oh, this is giving so much length. Oh my God. It's going to look insane with my lashes, but... 
Okay, so that's one eye with mascara and that's without. And can I just say I'm shook, okay? Oh, I don't know if I put too much, but it's so nice. And I love how black it is. Stop it. Another thing that I really like about this mascara is that it grips on really nicely. I love it. I love it so much. Okay, so the final thing we got is lips. So far, the, eyes, the eyeshadow is not creasing. I got this pickup line wood lip liner in the shade Bougie. I'm a little bit disappointed because it's light. They had a lot of pinky shades in their lip range, but I just, I prefer more rounds, as you guys know. I'm just thinking this as an all-over colour. It's kind of like imitating like a natural pinky lip. And it's quite creamy too, so the formula's nice. It's covering uh, my pigmentation. Not that I want to cover it. A lot of times I use my lip hyperpigmentation to just naturally contour my lips. But yeah, this is not bad on its own. I got the Gimme Lip Lipstick in Don't At Me. That's creamy. There were some darker shades. But I thought the lip liner would be a little bit darker. Looking a little pale, but it's not that bad. But the, the lipstick's very creamy. Like it's not streaky or giving me any weird vibes like it's pigmented but it's got like a creamy finish okay and then finally i got the lip juice in the shade thirsty thursday Ooh, this was matte cork oh my god okay misguided okay can you see my skin right now and the mascara is so <gasps> and the shadow is dried down it's like completely dried down it's just a close-up okay the things that stood out to me the most is definitely the contour stick the mascara wow mascara is definitely gorgeous i love the highlight products i'm just a bit iffy about the concealer i don't know if it's the shade but it's sitting beautifully on my skin right now i don't know if it'll crease but you know this is something i'm gonna have to test with time but the mascara is beautiful i love all the powders they're so soft and they sit on my skin so beautifully the foundation is actually not that bad it's really nice i just wish i had a better shade because it's a little bit on the darker side although with everything together you can't really tell can you and yeah, I'm, I'm just overall pleased. Like, I'm glad that the eyeshadow dried down. Which makes me want to use it more on a daily. Because I just loved... I just love a quick shadow. Like, I'm that type of person that just wants to wipe something on my lid. And I'm on the go. I'm that type of person, right? So yeah, I don't know. I just love this whole look. Like, my skin is so beautifully... Like, it's, it's all like skin-like. The foundation is medium coverage. It's definitely buildable. But it definitely looks like skin as well. And with the highlight and everything, it just looks so smooth. The brow gel didn't, like, scream to me. I really wish I got the felt tip, but I didn't. I need to sort that out because you guys need, need to get a refund. I ain't paying some for something that I didn't get, okay? I'm definitely really happy with everything. Guys, I'm so shook. Everything was so affordable as well. So, like, I don't know what they put in this, but for a new release, that's not bad. Everything was, like I said, everything was under £12. The foundation is £12, which is the most, like, expensive i would say and just like looking at the arm swatches i think 25 is the deepest shade which looks pretty deep i just feel like for release and a drugstore brand they've, they haven't done a bad job i think shade 15 is the shade i should have gone for for the foundation now looking back at the swatches i just have no idea with the concealers because the swatches were so confusing um but it's good that they have those these swatches to help people out considering the fact that they have um you can only buy online basically it looks like they have 24 shades in total, 25, I don't know, but that's not that's not bad, to be honest. A lot of drugstore brands don't even have half of that. <laughs> Just looking at my skin right now, I'm so happy with it. Looking up close, 
The only thing I can notice right now is my lines coming through quite a bit, but everything else looks quite nice. Obviously, I'll keep you guys updated on how this sits on the skin. Check out the info box. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this first impression. I can say I'm very, very impressed. They did pretty good. They got some cool bits in it. If you guys did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. And yeah, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate it. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.